So, hello everyone. Today we're going to install NOAA sliding doors. In this case, it's two doors. They are different. One of the doors is a four panel white glass. The other one is a mirror door. First thing you want to do is we have an opening here for our closet. The first thing you want to do is you're going to remeasure your opening just in case. Keep in mind, the opening has to be clean. It's not a rough opening. In this case, it's 73. Measure on top and on bottom, just in case. If your walls are not straight, 73. Perfect. And then measure top and bottom. It's 78. 78 in the quarter. 78 and 1 8. In this case, it's also not straight, which is good because all these doors, the wheels on the bottom, they're adjustable. We will adjust it once it's installed. So the first thing we got is, is our measurement. Door is 37 and a half, 37 and a half. Um, that sounds good for our opening. Now the height, just in case. The reason why you want to measure it, the height is 77 with the wheel. The opening is 78. It's awesome because the track has about an inch, so it should fit. So the only reason why you should re-measure this before you start any kind of installation is simply because these are made for you, for your size, your design, color, and so on. Um, so as you can see, we have a nice clean opening. There is a couple of basic tools that you need, blade or knife, drill with a couple of screws and a speed tape in this case it's a speed tape it could be any kind of double tape we're going to use that for the bottom track and the measurement tape is what we need now here you have a bottom track here you have a top track for those doors the way they are installed is very simple this goes on top this goes on the bottom once this is once the upper track is installed the bottom track has to pretty much face the center and this is how you would see it. It's either you take the laser or you take the measurement. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the tape on the bottom track. Um, usually I would start with the top track, but in this case, I want to do the bottom first. So here's what I would do. Take the speed tape. Again, it could be double tape, any kind of double tape. All you have to do is put your double tape over the track. Make sure that it's nice, flush. Go. And that's where your first tool comes in. I will use the blade. I don't need the knife. Cut it however you want to. We'll straighten that out a little bit later. Now we're gonna straighten out. Okay, looks good, looks good. We have some extra tape on both sides that we need to cut. There you go, one piece. And as you can see, the tape is a little bit wider than the actual track. It's not a problem. Again, same story. Just cut it with a knife over the blade, whatever you're using. There you go. This is what we have left over. Okay. Now, once the double tape is in, we're gonna remove the tape on the other side. We're gonna remove it completely. There is the sticky part. And then I'm going to start with pretty much centering it in my opening. If you know what you're doing, you don't need the measurement tape. But I would still recommend that you get one just in case. I don't need it because I know exactly what this opening is for. This track is not going anywhere for life simply because we're using very good quality double tape. 
that's pretty much it from the bottom. Down for the top. Uh, this is the upper trap. I'm not sure whether we even should use a bubble tape. We should not. You know what? In this case, I'll just use tape just because it's going to be easier for me. If you're a one man operation, it's easier. Just put the tape over. It will at least temporarily hold the door for you, hold the trap for you. Again, must be a good quality tape in order for this thing to hold. Let's see if it's not going to fall down. Hold the tape. Next step is install it. There you go. Half of the job is done. As you can see over here, the ceiling is not straight. I would put the screw here just to hold it tight. But over here, we have the double tape to do the job. Um, so just in case, I'm going to put a screw right in the middle of the closet. That way it will stay in there forever. I'm gonna use another one for the same exact purpose on the other side. It really doesn't matter whether you use this one or this one for the screws. Um, so whichever one you want. Now, instead of actually fixing this, putting the screw here, I'm going to put the screw here and then we'll call it a day and we'll caulk here. At least this is going to give us the straight line. There you go. This thing is not going anywhere for sure. This rack is used for the wheels to control the door and for the door not to fall in or out. Now there's two ways of doing it. You can either cut the shrink wrap off right away or you can do it after the doors are installed, totally up to you. In this case, I will not be taking off the shrink completely. I will install these doors with the shrink on just because I don't want this thing to get damaged, especially when you pay $1,000 for the doors. Same thing goes for the bottom. You definitely want to move the shrink from the wheels. All right, now we want to figure out where we want the mirror and where we want the uh, panels. So I want the mirror on this side and I want the panels on this side because you're walking this way, you don't want to see the gap between the doors. So the first door goes in first, which is this door panels. I'm going to put it here and the mirror door is going to go right on top of it. So that one is going into the back track and that's how it goes. The first thing you do is you put the doors into the, you put the back door first and then you start with, uh, with the front doors. There you go. Enter the wheel, put the wheel right into the center of the track. It goes to shrink on my way. That's okay. All right. There goes my door, number one. Yes, the shrink is on the way everywhere. It's fine. Once you remove it, last thing is going to happen is you're going to adjust the doors, depending on your opening, whether it's straight or not. And your doors are installed. This process should not take more than 30 to 40 minutes if you're new to installing these doors. Goes to 
more shrink, more shrink. All right, there goes the ladies' door because it's a rare, and this goes into the front track. Put just like that, raise it, insert, insert. There goes your other door. Now we pretty much have a complete set of sliding doors that are pretty much installed. Uh, the only thing we have left is just to remove the shrink and that's it. They slide pretty good. Now cutting out the shrink. There goes door one, there goes door two. So usually what you would do is you would adjust the doors based on these gaps right here. That means that the closet or the floor is not straight. Same thing goes on this side, but it's the other way. This part is not straight. So what we would do is we would take the hex, Allen key, hex key, and adjust the wheels so this is a soft rubber it also works as a cover for the screws for the door there goes your bottom adjustable wheel turn it and it literally adjusts your door to go up there we go now show them show the gap there's a gap but I'm doing the same exact thing on the other side. You pick up the door and you keep turning the hex key up until it really goes up and that gap disappears. Now the wheels are adjustable all the way to three quarters of an inch. Um, so even if your floor is or your ceilings are that much crooked, that's okay. Got about a quarter of an inch left. The adjustment. I think I'm done. Yep. Now we need to adjust the rear door. This door is done and it's not moving anywhere. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other door. Pick this up, pick up the door just a little bit. To make sure that the wheel is nice and steady. Perfect. Put it back down. I would actually do it a little bit more just to make sure that it's it lasts for life until you break it. All right, now the gap is there, and we need to readjust. Out. and we need to readjust this one so as you can see there is the plate that's the plate that you will fix put it against the wall 
pick it up, start adjusting. A little bit more. A little bit more. Don't touch the upper screw, that's for the frame support. Put it back down, this is back down. We are done. If you're going to show them the gaps. Okay, looks like we have a gap here. All right, let's fix this little back. There it is. Perfect, on the right side. And now we only have to fix on this side. As soon as you see that it's tight, that means there is no more point to go further because now your gap is pretty much perfect. I'm not even sure why we don't do the soft close on this door. Now it doesn't matter which way the door goes, um, but you would have to adjust the height for each door. In this case, like I said, we adjusted the mirror for the left side and we adjusted the four panel for the right side and this is how it comes out to be. There's nothing else that needs to be done with the doors fully usable, nice and quiet. Please remember if you have closet organizers and especially your drawers, make sure that once the closet is built, you know how big your door should be in order for you to pull out the actual drawers and uh, not get stuck on the door in case the door's gonna be bigger than the actual drawers. Um, and that's pretty much it, thank you.